Good morning. I was sitting here making fabric flowers, not feeling very good, and I thought, let's just go live and see if there's anybody out there that's lonely and needs somebody to sit and visit or something to sit and watch, and if so, here I am. I haven't even... I have started a load of laundry today, and I've emptied the dishwasher, and I've taken a COVID test, and fortunately, it tested negative. Last night, I was watching Xena. Hi, Melody. Hi, Pam. I was watching Xena, the sassy crafter, and somebody there wanted to know how to make a fabric flower. Hi, Anne. I am so glad you guys decided to stop in. And they were wanting to make a fabric flower and couldn't remember how. Well, I've had this one in my drawer a while to um, remind myself I need to make more. Oh, your husband has strap. Yeah. Good afternoon, Linda. I'm so glad you guys decided to stop in and visit. So... I already had some of these fabric flowers that I made with Lizzie one time. And I took a, um, my words are not going to come to me very well, a yo-yo. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm so glad he did. And he can't enjoy the, you and the kids very well if he had COVID. And so I just put this morning a um I don't want that I put them away I didn't realize I was going to decide to do a video so I just put and this is going to look awful but I just grabbed a yo-yo and put it here and then I glued a button on it now I've made this one and I've made this one and I've made this one and then I took a yo-yo and all of these I just glued this one I'm going to sew on now I have clips let me get them I think I said one time when about how I got so much ribbon and with that ribbon, a lady gave me all these clips and my sister was doing um, hair things for a mission and I sent her a bunch of ribbon and clips. That's broken. And she did a couple of buttons on top of each other. And Emerson really liked it. Hi, Barbara. And I thought, you know, I bet Emerson would like that as a hair clip. But I, before I put these on the hair clip, I'm going to let her look at them and see what one she wants or doesn't want. So I'll just wait on that. It'll take a second to glue that on there. So that's what I was working on. And then I saw this little fabric flower in the drawer up here in front of me and I thought you know I'm just gonna make another one with the cam without the camera to see if I remembered and so that's what I'm doing I this is a canvas and I'm gonna make a circle on it I use felt or um 
canvas as my bottom circle. And I wear this kind of thing on my shirts, like the dress I have on now. Um, if I was going somewhere, I would put a flower on it. But um, I would rather wear a flower in the summer than a necklace because of my neck. Thank you, Pam. So I'm good. I, I take this little circle and I have this strip of old white sheet. And I don't worry about the width. But when I made this last one, it was great big, like I would wear. And I don't want it that long, big. So I cut it off and I waste some. I will use either a hot glue Barbara or Fabri-Tac. Unless somebody's got a better idea. And if they have a better idea, I'll probably try it. Thanks, Anne. And they're so easy to make. Now, I am very shabby chic. And so I'm going to want it shabby pastels and some of those kind of things. And, um, but if you're not, you can make it any color you want. Thank you, Anne. And if you've got little girls, they're easy too. Now, if you want me to make a petal flower, if you don't know how, tell me and I can make one of those too. But, um, and when I say a petal flower, I'm talking about these. This one, I had leftover petals and put it on one. Isn't that just about the ugliest thing you've ever seen? Okay, Pam, I'll demonstrate. Let me get some scrap fabric. See what I can make. Let's... Um, Let's make a red and blue one, a red and white, blue. See, my mind is not right. Well, good. I've got a fibromyalgia flare up with fiber fog. And I've got um, um, a headache. I've got a sore throat and I'm whiny. Yes, I am. All right, Anne, that's fine. I understand. Let my move in Emerson's stool. So I can get closer to my camera. Okay. Is that better, Barbara? All right. Now, to do this, you can see I've just got circles. So, and I, I cut several at a time. You know, God forbid, Kathy, take one at a time or something like that. And um, you can make the flowers any shape you want. I got to get some needle and thread.
All right. Sorry about all that. Hey, I've got all day to do this. The only thing that's happening in this house, I believe, is my son is going to make salsa in the kitchen. He has the flat burners. And we have the coil burners. And I guess the coil burners get hotter for canning. And when we weren't here and he canned, he would, you know, just leave all the stuff out and go for it. But Greg will help him. Okay. Hi, babe. How you doing? I'm making fabric flowers and showing the world how. Huh? I'm going to You're going to town. Okay. Would you mind taking that package for Leslie? Sure. Thank you. So. Box for the care, care, the of their head start. Yeah, you could take that too if you want. Yeah. Debbie knows it's coming. So. Thank you. My delivery man is wonderful. I'm trying to, I'm just going to cut one of these so that you can see. And I can remind my brain. Okay, see how these are a circle folded in half? So I've got the circle, and here's three. I'm going to need six of them. And I, I fold them in half. And you can do these circles any size you want. I don't have any little ones. So, um, and this is a great scrap buster. Now, one thing I don't know, I'm looking at the chat that's here on the floor beside me, is... Um, I can send these to Project Dress a Girl or not. And I'm throwing the fabric away right now because I don't have my scrap bin. So I will pull them out of the trash when I'm done. All right. So you take these and you fold them. And you thread them. See what I'm doing? I'll get my other three made. See, I, I'm not doing this in a good order. YouTube will probably knock me off for being so poor at this today. But, you know, at this point in the game, I don't care. I'm using my fabric scissors to cut so you know how that's going. I have been able to watch my hummingbirds. That's been fun. Um, I learned this from watching Lizzie. Lizzie was making them one time. I went back after I found Lizzie, and I do this with a lot of people, and go back and watch, start with their old ones, and... Um, watch them okay so i've got it folded and as you can see i don't worry about it being perfect you could do that too if you wanted and do it like i'll do the other one but and then we just sew it pam if you've got little girls these would be cute And then you're going to, well, Barbara, I appreciate that, but a good teacher would have had all of her supplies ready and a lesson plan and objectives beside it and known what she was going to do, but you know.
And if you guys think of other things I could do with these, please let me know. I've got my, um, Nikki's going to take my stuff for the family, Division of Family Services, foster children. And um, then, oops, that one's not folded. Then you put these all in the middle. I need to redo that one. Maybe I can fake it. And if you're really good at this, they all touch and work wonderfully. But as you can see, some of these are looser than others, and that's fine. And then I like to sew them. What I ought to do, seen by new in, if somebody's new. Um, oh, yes, it is, Pam. It's very good. I have no idea what I just did there. I have found that, you know, thread can be very forgiving when you're going to sew it. I wouldn't do it with a garment, but... Okay, so, and I'm not looking at the chat, so I apologize. So, I've let my hands are shaking. So, I am just sewing these. And it doesn't have to be pretty because, remember, we're going to change, I mean, we're going to cover what we're doing. And you can do these the other way. And I think I was probably supposed to. So the points are on the outside and I forgot that. So I'll do another one. There's several ways to do this. And there's no wrong way. There is no way you can mess this up. No way. Because I'm doing it. And if I can do something like this, feeling as I do and running a low grade temp, I bet you all can do it. Okay, so, but I couldn't just sit in a chair. I, it just killing me. All right, so I have this sewn together. And there is a fabric flower. See, and I screwed that one up. I need to. So, we will make another one. But you can fix this, even though I've screwed this up with a little bit of lace. a little bit of doily some glue and 
and a polka dotted button. And I might put like one of these uh, on a pocket of my Project Dresser Girl. Okay, where, here's a circle. See, I screwed up, and who would know? Move this button a little around a little bit so it has some lace all around it. And there you go. I think those are cute. And I think it'd be cute on a little girl's pocket, so not a little girl's dress. Um, a cover of a journal or um, on one of those clips above on a ponytail or whatever. So let's make another one. Only this time we're going to do bigger pieces of fabric. I'm going to look professional now, as Lizzie says. Let's look professional. I hope Minnie Mouse doesn't mind upside down. Thank you, Melody. I am going to, I hate not seeing the chat. I feel like I am being so rude. Thanks, Gail. Hi, Gail. Thank you. Thank you, Gail. I, I need some healing energy. I need some prayers. This week is Antique Fair Week. Antique Little Town. You got to remember, Little Little Town. And, um... Last night was what they call Tuesday Tiger Tailgate. And everybody in town's up on the square. Um, we have the band. We have um, the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade football players that's what i think pam okay one two three four we had um all the the trap team we had the band we had cheerleaders we had the flag girls, all that kind of stuff. They had bleachers out and it stopped the street. I mean, there was no, you could not drive around the square. Um, bleachers were in the street watching them. All of them were introduced. They introduced themselves. And um, the coaches just said a little bit about the team. Jackson was introduced. That's why we were there. And um, then when that was done, the booster club, um, 
had pork sandwiches, coleslaw, baked beans, chips, and different desserts. And the seniors of all those organizations served. Of course, everybody knows everybody. Kids are running around without parents. I mean, that's because other parents know those kids. So if somebody tried to do it, they'd stop them. And even if they, I mean, I didn't know all the kids, but if I saw somebody drive by and start to snatch a kid, you know, the police were sitting there watching everybody. And um, that's a little town. You've got to remember it's a county of 5,000. I think 60% are Mennonites uh, now. Didn't used to be that way. The county seat is 1,800 people. And the school K-12 is 600. And the schools are connected. And so, like, the high school comes and does things with the little kids. You know, first day of school, you've got the football players opening the door and walking kids to their classes. That kind of little bitty town. Um, kids who need community service for like NHS, National Honor Society and stuff, they come over and help with the little kids. So um, we went to that last night. And then Thursday, I don't know what's on tonight and tomorrow night. I don't know. And Friday night will be the first night of the bingo and the baby contest. They have to do the baby contest early because they come right behind the grand marshal in the parade Saturday. Jackson was um, Prince one year when he was four. That's how little these little kids are. I've lost the needle. That's what I'm looking for. And um, so that will all be Friday night, which I don't have a dog in that race, so I probably won't go. Uh, then Saturday will be the parade. Everybody will be at the parade. People come back for the parade. Now, what did I do with the thread? Y'all, you saw me lay it down. Hey, inventory shop. How are you? Um, so, like I said, little bitty town. And um, Emerson's little dance competition team from a neighboring town will be there, will ride. All of the different football teams will be on fire trucks. Um, antique tractors, horses will be at the end of it. Kids will run out into the street for candy. Um, what you think of an old time um, parade. People come spend the day after lunch. They um, I forgot what I was saying again. But anyway, you get the drift. So that's Saturday. And then afternoon, there'll be different organizations with fundraising boosts for kids. And the kids run wild. They don't stay with their parents. Now, Emerson's age does. Jackson's age won't. He'll be running into the bouncy house. The fire department will have um, where they have the hose and the kids can get wet, I think. They used to. I haven't been for several years. Um, the local rotary will be cooking half chicken, barbecued chicken. And I don't know if they're doing pork. Greg will help with that because he's former Rotary. So he still 
helps cook chicken and get it all ready. I really hope that needle isn't on the floor. Um, so I'm thinking I may take a short video of it if any of you would be interested. I'm going to get another needle. But it's just a lot of fun. Hi, Esther. How are you? I'm doing fabric flowers. Yes, Melody, this would be easily something you can sit and watch television. Oh, Gail, it's very small. Um, the city councilman that's in charge of the pool and stuff passed away and they shut the pool down and had the funeral in the park. Yes, it's very much a throwback to simpler times. And um, where everybody takes care of everybody else, when there's a death, you have more food than you know what to do with. Um just a fun little place and this is where Greg grew up I did not now if you notice on these I'm starting on the other side to get a point so I fold in half fold again and then base And if you did not want to put it all together while you're sitting there, Melody, you wouldn't have to. Wouldn't have to. Last year, this time of year, I tend to, my allergies just, and it doesn't matter if I'm in Florida or if I'm here. Um really get the best of me and when that happens my fiber my algae flares up so and I'm doing this color because it's the scraps of one of the little dresses that I'm doing so if I wanted to put this on the dresser so I'm folding it, make it a point, basting around. And Melody, I got the cookie recipe in my live um, description. And remember, if you go and watch my live and comment, I'll put you in the... Um, drawing for a packet to win for my 100 subscribes subscribers now this has six and pan this is another thing you could do See, I could go six or I could go seven. I'm thinking seven for this one. Um, this would also be something if you get some old thread at the thrift store or something, you could use. I'm just using a gray because it will go with everything. Okay, so... I have these together. I'm 
There you go, Melody. And then sew it together like this. Nobody's going to see the center unless you want them to. Now, Angie Brown, that makes wonderful um, yo-yos. Hers could probably show, but mine aren't. I, a fellow librarian on Facebook said that she made um, chocolate muffins. And I'm going, I didn't these others, but I think I'm going to sew these petals together to make this a little sturdier in case I do want to use this on a little dress. Pan, these would be cute on your overalls. Do you, Esther? I, I got diagnosed 31 years ago. Thank you, Melody. At Mayo's in Rochester before anybody had heard of it. So I was fortunate in getting diagnosed early. And we didn't even go there to get uh, diagnosis for that. We were told I had lupus. Okay, so. I'm going to bring this to the back. Do a little more stitching. And I don't know that you can stitch these two morning. Hi, Jen Wren. I'm making fabric flowers. I was inspired to come back to this craft after Zena was doing it. Is that all, Gail? You don't add anything else but the chocolate? Because I do chocolate cookies out of cake mix. Oh my gosh, that would be easy. I still use a lot of my Weight Watcher recipes, but I never had that one. Have you found out anything, Jen, about your husband and son? And then about 15 minutes, Gail, on 350? Yeah, I'll Google it. Okay. My Google is usually Pinterest. All right. So. There we go. And now you have your fabric flower. And... I don't know if you'd want to do that or not. Um, this is my lace. Let me move you up a little bit. I keep it in this big galvanized pan on um, my table here in the living room. But I was keeping it in smaller stuff. I like to dig when it comes to some of this stuff. So, um, 
Is that too far away now? Just let me know. Now I could even take this lace and snip it on the end. Or ribbon, I could probably use it too. Face it and ruffle it. And here's what I'm doing. Hi, Lizzie. I'm making your fabric flowers, Lizzie. And I'm using your lace, too. And then I could tack this down. Now, I'll remind you all, if you go back to my last live and comment as a replayer, um, you'll be in my drawing for a good little packet of stuff. Better not that I didn't do that. Last night at the tailgate thing, they had all kinds of desserts, and I couldn't eat my dessert after I ate a pork sandwich and slaw, so I brought it home. I ate that for breakfast. It was pretty yummy. See, I could put a lace on that and glue that down, and then... A boho button? What do you think? Turquoise button? That's kind of pretty. Yeah, these would be cute too if on a ponytail holder. Well, I'm just glad, Jen, you feel like eating after being so sick. I don't have any ponytail holders, but Emerson does. There's fabric. I, yesterday I was cutting out my dresses for Dress a Girl, and Emerson came in and decided she wanted a dress, or Monday, I guess that was. And so I was washing her fabric to make her a little dress. And I may thread this through. Um, as well. And then just hold it down while it dries. Oh, banana bread sounds good. We only have a banana though. Yes, Liz Lizzie, you should. Doesn't it look pretty with that? I don't know what color that is, but Jeffrey's sick, but very mildly. I did a COVID test this morning, Lizzie. I thought I had it, but it came back negative. So I'm, I'm not sick. So that is a fabric flower. Now that you're all sick and throwing up from getting dizzy. And here's another one. Here's one where you sew the middle and 
um, with the felt on the back and a yo-yo. Here's the one that I just made here today, this morning. Um, here's another one. So I'm going to get this one I'd already made and put it back together. While we're sitting here. Urgent care was positive. I'm not going into urgent care. Thought it was honey cake. <laughs> Thanks, Gail. You are so encouraging. I appreciate you guys' encouragement. See, and this one had a seam, and I used it. And so, like I said, you can't ruin them. You just can't mess up. Thanks, Jen. And like I said, when Emerson gets home, she's wanting me to make her some scrunchies to go with the little dress she decided that she wanted. It's a turquoise color. And um, she wants me to make her little friend one too. I have this feeling though. Oh, I didn't do that the same. Well, let's see what happens if I do it this way. That once I make one little friend, I'll be making more little friends matching ones. I don't mind. It's not like I don't have time. I'm sitting here watching hummingbirds come and go at my feeder that I filled this morning and a cake mix. Do you use a spice cake mix or a vanilla? What kind of cake mix do you use for your banana? What would we do without these cake mixes? They have made me so lazy. See, I've always made it from scratch. I've never made it any other way. I get out the old Betty Crocker book. Thanks, Barbara. I guess I should have made them to go with all the little aprons. Ha, 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 ha. I made 20 of those little aprons. I was kind of aproned out. And I'm project oriented. Like doing this, I can't just do one or two and then quit and leave out the mess. I'll do a whole bunch and then put the mess up. Now, I've got a lot of works in progress. Don't get me wrong. My um, sister got me making the towels that fold over your handles. In your kitchen. I'm sure you've all seen those. Probably made them. Hi, Teresa. You're at the doctor's office. Oh, I hope things are good. And I bought some primary, uh, primary, pioneer women towels that I would, I'm going to make the little flaps for. I've never done it. And, um, Ooh, I need to get that lid on. Oh. Don't know where the straight pin went. Um. Just making fabric flowers. Teresa, when you get all these doctor's appointments and stuff, do you take something to do? 
Oh, from Boston Market. Saturday, I'll have pie from the Catholic Church. No, Methodist Church ladies. Oh, it'll be so good. They sell slices of pie for like $1.50, $2, something like that. And I don't mind paying any of that because it all is a good cause. So what are all you ladies working on? A cow? No, that's my dryer beeping with Emerson's fabric. Sorry about that, friends. I love quick breads. I'm just sitting here thinking about a banana bread. Sounds like a boo. <laughs> You're working on your spooky boo, boo, boo. Your spooky book. I can't talk. You're being lazy. And I do that a lot when I'm watching a live. Unless I'm doing what they're doing. Yes, thumbs up, please. A little bit of slow stitching. I've kind of put that. Oh, that does sound like a cow. Um, I haven't done much slow stitching lately. I don't know why. Since I've been back from my sisters and the kids in school, I've um, done more sewing. I just don't. I don't so much when they're here because they want to help. And I, ooh, now that's different just because of the way I sewed it. it, it it's kind of screwy. But, um, oh, well, now we have cows over here in the pasture. So maybe one of them did moo. We have a cow over there. He's getting fattened up. Okay, so now I'll put some yumminess on it. Let's put some of this little eyelet. I don't know if this will work. This would really work for a flower, wouldn't it? I might save it for a flower. Do you, I need to get you all closer. No, he's out there with the goats. He doesn't know what's going on. He he he's fine. And I showed up. Pam, you get a lot more done in your mornings. I got up, did my blood work stuff, started a load, started that fabric, drank my coffee, emptied the dishwasher. Fed my hummingbirds. And closer to my body, is that better? And what else have I done? Not a heck of a lot. But I can do that because I'm retired, so I only do what I want to. Like what I want to act like I want to. Oh, Gail, go take it. Is it too late? Well, I, and I hate to complain, complain because I'm blessed. I'm alive. Um, I have beat breast cancer and I 
went into a coded. I was in a coma. I've been through some major medical things and I'm walking. Oh, don't you hate it when you can't remember? Okay, now let's do a little lace. Maybe a little pink lace. What's this? Oh, it's not lace. Two breast surgeries. Oh, Jen. Mine was caught in, uh, mine was just stage one. It was caught in a mammogram. I just had radiation. But happened in a little town and at the bank, they started a list for anybody who wanted to take me an hour away. Oh, Lizzie. God definitely has a purpose for me. And my husband and I are thinking it just might be my YouTube channel. We don't know. But oh, that makes it too whimsical. Not shabby sheep. That is a good idea, Gail. Pre-cancer. These people that refuse to take mammograms or an ultrasound or something. I don't understand. Oh, Pam, I'm glad it wasn't. And there's this one. That's an old one. It still had the thread and stuff in it. I'm thinking this needs something behind it. Um... Maybe a piece of flat lace. Go around it. Around the corners. <sighs> oh, it would, Gail. I told the ultrasound people they were wasting my time. I had to take off work to go. And I said, you realize that you're not going to find a dang thing. And then there they went and found something. Oh, I want some felt. I have so much felt. I was going to make busy things for Nikki's daycare and never got it done. And bought all this felt to do it. Uh, 
Oh, do you? Yeah, get that stuff out of you. Mm. You know, we on these chats sure talk about some stuff, don't we? Okay. I like that better with the little bit of lace behind it. I don't know if you can really see a difference close up. Uh, when you like me to hold some stuff still, it's still wet. So that's why I'm not wanting to. There, a little too close. Okay, now let's make some little ones from my um, sheet. Pam, I have two. And you know, I don't even know. I think it was Lizzie's live I went to first. I'm not really sure whose it was. Um, I know Janet's was right up there. But I've only been going to the lives since March. I've only been doing all this since. I mean, I was on YouTube watching people before. But I wasn't doing lives. I like the little ones, too. I think I'm going to use this. And I started getting to know people. And then thinking it'd be fun to do them. And Gail, they're fun. Now, they're not a good happy mail in an envelope. I'm going to bring that lower too. And a hot glue gun might work better. Yeah, they're just bulky. But if you're already sending somebody a package or you sold something and you want, you know, a thank you, it would be good. But, um, Other than that, and like I said, this is an old sheet. It's, and I like it because it has these frayed edges. So I'm sure you could, if you wanted to mess with it, and I don't like fray fraying. Um, fabric but um, wash it in a load and you could make it different colors if you wanted whatever color sheets you have this was an old sheet this one I've got some fabric I'm going to take to the Mennonite store. It's their knit that they like to sew with. And I don't. 
and I don't I don't want it taking room in my cabinet. So I think I'm just going to take it to the consignment store. I take stuff to the consignment store and put it in Nikki's name. I don't even have a number. She can have the money. Okay. Bye, Barbara. Um, thank you. Go make some sweet bread or something so you got some snacks in your house, Barbara. Last night she was wanting a late night snack. Didn't have anything. Said she's going to fire her grocery shopper. Now, this is kind of square, but no worries. All you got to do is round the points. Or you can leave it square. I mean, that's totally up to you. I like the canvas behind these little ones. I don't know why. Probably would like the canvas behind the big ones if I did it. Are you able to see a thing? Jenren, you're so good about telling me. And I appreciate it when you say you can't see or closer like you guys did a little bit ago. So appreciate that. Today, Wednesday, is that right? Yeah. Nothing else on this week. Now, Melody, while you're sitting in your chair doing this, if you're rounding them, you may have to fray them too. And then you're going to want a lint roller. Get all those threads. Just warning y'all. Okay, now I'm going to get my cheesecloth that fell off. Oh, sorry about that. I'm sure you like that view. This should be white, but we spilled paint as Emerson told, and I used it to wipe up the blue paint water. We didn't spill paint, we spilled. Now, when Lizzie did it, she used her threads, Gail. So that's something you could, you were talking about saving your thread. This is something else you could do with it. And as I was picking up, I noticed some fibers. So if you have um, like eyelash trim, you could um, put that there. I don't know that I like it with uh, um, cheesecloth. Yeah, I think I like it better without it. And then if you wanted to sew the your thread through the needle, you could do that. And I'm going to do that so you can kind of see that look. Or I just saw these. If you have any gems or something like that, you could put those in the middle. And I also have 
just thought of this. I have some wax circles I made. I think if it was bigger, that'd be cute. But I don't think I like it that big. Or I could make this one smaller. I could do something like that. So, see, Gail, you are set. I do too, Melody, and then my husband will be picking up the threads. I'm a sock wearer. So it's just kind of, Gail, whatever you want to do. But I kind of like that wax seal on there. My husband doesn't like it when he finds the straight pants. Can't, he, can't imagine why. He found them when we came up. A slow stitching and he found straight pins in the floor of the well Emerson found it and the floor of the pickup and she said why would Nana have these Papa and it, it, it was he didn't he didn't hurt his foot he got it before stepping on it but I'll reheat those. But I kind of like the wax seal on that. Doesn't look as shabby chic as it does with something else. But um, it's just a different idea. Floor art. There you go, Lizzie. Perfect. Papa is so good about you being all over the house with that stuff. My husband says if it start when it starts leaking out of the room, it's a sign that I may have too much stuff. Okay, there's my needle. I was worried about where my needle was. Okay, let's make another one. Vacuum day. I need vacuum day. Jackson loves running the little vac. Down south we have a robo. It's too big. Um, vac. Up here we don't. But we have too many little levels from when they built on. So it's just easier for me to do it myself. But Jackson likes running. He likes running anything that you would call a machine. When he's in the mood. Now, you know, if he's not in the mood. That's a different story. Well, these I'm making about one by one and a half or something. This sheet is far from the same size. I don't have any idea what I did with it. Nothing. Well, can't say I blame him. But, my husband said it'd be easier if he knew I was going to do all this when we got married. He said, I kind of changed. And he had no warning. 
he knew I liked the flower beds when we got married. He didn't know that this was going to come later. And it's come like the last 10 years. I haven't done this all my life. It's not like I, you know, some of you that have crafts from all your life. Well, number one, I've moved too often to have crafts from all my life. But, um, When I was a kid and teenager, I didn't have anything to do with it. It was more when we were in Florida. Hi, Z. How are you? I'm just here making fabric flowers. Crocheted all, and sewn all your life. See, I haven't. As you guys all know. If you've watched my channel. And I just, I think my biggest regret is my mother-in-law did all that and would have been more than happy to have taught me. You know, I was around people who did all that. And, but no, I wait till I'm in Florida where I have nobody to get into all of that. And I was fortunate that our reading coach that came did a lot of sewing. And when I was wanting to make Emerson baby dresses, she was there to help. Seamstresses and needleworkers. Grandma sewed our clothes. I don't know if she'd have been a fan of teaching us. I assume she would have. My sister crocheted. Uh, mom may have taught her. I know mom did some crocheting. But it, she wasn't one to just always that I remember have it just sitting there. Okay, is a beautiful, well, hi, Zena. Is are, is that grandmother Abulas? Did I say that right? You inspired me to get this stuff out, Zena, last night. I was telling them I had this one in a drawer to remind me that I needed more of them. And I didn't feel good, so I thought, I'll just make flowers. And then I was making the flowers and nothing on was on YouTube I wanted to watch so I turned mine on bye Gail thank you for stopping in be sure to let me see your flowers if you make them grandmothers in Spanish okay So I, I'm making these flowers Lizzie style. Lizzie's the one I watch to learn how. Now, if I had, I have like satiny fabrics and stuff in Florida that I like to make the ones that you take them and you turn them. You know, and then they're little roses, fabric roses. I like making those, but I like making those out of that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to make those. I try and have different crafts. Like I have 
my paint. I have some paint down in Florida. Um, I have some oil pastels in Florida. I have a lot of my papers in Florida. And then I have... Um, other mediums, I think, in Florida. And then up here, I, I have my old sewing machine down there. But um, so I do those crafts down there. And then I have slow stitching down there. I have slow stitching everywhere. And then up here, I have my sewing embroidery machine. I do more sewing up here. I do more um, painting up here for sure. I don't have a jelly plate in Florida. I don't have watercolors in Florida. Um But when Greg came up, it was a trailer just of craft supplies in tubs. And that was, he came up by himself for antique fair or something. I think they were having like a class reunion and, um, my um die cuts down in florida i don't want the kids to want to play with that i'm still learning it i have some of these i'm wondering about i don't know Pillowcases for your Barbie dolls. Now, I've taught Jackson how to um, sew on a button. Emerson just doesn't have the maturity or the want to yet of it. But what a wonderful memory. Jen Wren, we are in Florida. We'll go to Florida in January, into December. We're talking about taking the kids to Gatlinburg for Christmas. And um, if we do that, we might just finish going on down south because that's about, Nashville's about halfway. Um, but I I don't see a reason for the snow and cold and I don't get out in it much. Um, especially now because a fall is still very detrimental. So we still have to watch that I don't fall. So um, we'll head down there. We've made all of our six months appointments and those kind of things for the towards the end of January to give us time to get down there. And then um, we will stay down there. I, I would like to come back in April, Mar March, April, May for planting flowers. I would like to get the rest of, I want to plant an herb garden. And um, we have some shady spots. I would like to get some plants and stuff. Um, I'm only doing perennials, <clears throat> but I want to do those in the spring. So I have more time to get them established. Um, and we could help Andy then plant the garden and get some of that kind of stuff. Oh, Jaren, I understand. We have two rooms upstairs that would be wonderful craft space, but they're so narrow and steep 
Greg doesn't want me going up and down because he's for sure I would fall. And um, there would be. And I had originally planned on using upstairs as a craft space. That's where he and his brother's bedrooms were. And that's where his mom's sewing machine was. And there's an air window air conditioner up there because there's not a, the central air doesn't go up. But um, we use it for storage or somebody comes to visit. There's a bed up there. But um, I just use, and I thought about doing a room tour of how I have created a craft room in the living room because I know some people have to share their space. And I don't know if I'll ever get that done or not. Um, I am fortunate that I have the cabinets that she had all the arrowheads in and stuff. Now, the bottom cabinets I can't really use because there's still all the slides are in there that she had. See, my son would love to move uh further north i watched your channel yesterday when you're in the car talking about the winter and how you love it my son would move to alaska before he moved to florida he doesn't like the hot weather because of the bugs i just get i don't mind the snow it's when the snow melts and it's so gloomy. And I don't even mind anymore being snowed in. But, um, and the kids would go and get, you know, the bring home groceries and store. But um, I'm just kind of... I don't, in Florida, I do get tired of the heat, but my philosophy is every climate has times when being outside isn't pleasant. Um, January, February are not pleasant in Missouri. Um, August, July, August are not pleasant in Florida. Um, when it's dark all the time, isn't pleasant in, um, Alaska. So I'm just... I just go with the flow, but I have promised my son and daughter-in-law that when we cannot take care of ourselves, we'll move back full time. And my son's biggest dread is moving the craft room. But there's a lot that's in there. I'll either sell or um, donate. Um, I don't need a lot of duplicates. And Selena with Amore Fabrics has said that if something happens to me, she'll come and take care of it for me. And sell it on her channel and give me the money or give Greg the money or whatever. So, there's that. But, um, doesn't that look nice when it's all picked up? So, I have this little box I have. I bet you guys have them too. When you clean up your desk, you just throw them in there. Yeah. 
or you just want a little project so you look in there first okay, i've got that too melody i mailed yours and gail's happy mail to you from being first yesterday Do, are you getting those is your last name jones i was gonna ask you that i'm glad you're on here today otherwise i'm sending them to a different melody And you probably want it. Yes. And you know, she's just as dear as you would think she would be. I love her dearly. Sweet, sweet friend. Her turn. I know, Zena. I saw you. Okay, good. So you're getting them. Um, hi, Jasper. How are you? I'm so glad you stopped in. We're just kind of chatting. We're not. Um, I was making fabric flowers. I think I'm going to try and make some yo-yo. A yo-yo. I wish. I, do any... Lizzie, you're, if you're still here, if any of you know how to make yo-yos, I could sit today and do that. That I would like to make yo-yos. It gets expensive buying them. And I don't mind giving Angie the money, but when I got so much scrap, and I, I keep my scrap fabric in a clothes basket, I mean a picnic basket, And I would sit here and cut circles. Okay. So I've got this greenish, blue, whatever fabric. Okay. That's, I, I sent it to that melody. Okay. Jen is a close running stitch. Okay, here we go. Oh, I, I could do every day for, I don't know how long of things to do with yo-yos. I will never make a yo-yo quilt though. I can guarantee that. Lizzie, did you see the quilt I make? made at my sister's it's on my instagram so y'all have to follow my instagram to see it it's in the mail from my best friend in florida her birthday's today greg just took it to town and then she made the pot holder for me it's a pineapple pattern See, I've watched Lizzie do it, but she makes it look so darn easy. Lizzie, if you knew how many times I have watched and rewatched so many of your videos. You know, when it says 5,000 people have watched a video, I've probably watched it. 4,000 of those times. Just kidding. Okay. So I've done this. This is the part I have trouble with. Do I just... Do I keep sewing it around to... See, this is all pretty and doesn't have these frayed parts. Mine had the frayed parts. Should I have ironed it under first? Please tell me no. 
I might lose my mind if I did that. See, what have I done wrong already that it's not pretty? Oh, yours have frayed, frayed edges. I bought this one. But Jasper, I do have um, polka dotted fabric and I do like the, I love whimsical. So am I, so just do that and it's done. It looks like it's done. Of course, somebody was making these to sell, so they might have been a little bit more careful. I got them off eBay. Hi, Cheryl's. I'm learning how to do yo-yos. Now, Jasper, or any of you bought Ange, does she hide the frayed ends? I guess if I'm putting a button on them or something, it doesn't matter, does it? I need to get this over here so I don't lose that needle. Okay, so that's what it's to look like. Well, Lizzie, I do too. Oh, you don't pull them really tight in the middle. Okay, well, uh, here's some polka dots, here's some polka dots, this was, now this is how I sometimes get, um, Selena's fabric because <laughs> I go out there and I just pick. Oh, they okay. They're hemming the edges. If I find any of this Jen, uh, Zena that has um, well, that's kind of fringy. Not gorgeous. I need to get this out and play with it. I have it here in my scrap basket. Lizzie, I only have one scrap basket. Here's a polka dotted. That would make a pretty one. Look, see, I have some already cut. Emerson was using these to sew on a bead. Um, does knit work for a yo-yo? This would make a ruffle. That might be a pretty little bitty yo-yo. Those would make a yo-yo, wouldn't they? Is there better fabric to use? Any fabric works. So I could do that with the knit. Okay. Uh, that's some I got from my sister.
Those would make cute yo-yos. I could put these in my winning packet for my 100 day. I mean, my 100 subbies. Y'all have created a yo-yo monster. Oh, I bet they just do. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? I, I'm standing on my head over here digging through my scrap basket looking for fabric to make yo-yos. That's going to be my project today. Look what fell out of the bag, Zena. I have my good fabric. Yes. I'll, I'll make you a little pile, Lizzie. Because I want to send you some of the... Um, Unicorn fabric, I got Emerson. I'm going to use these on my Project Dress a Girl as a pocket. Won't that make a fun pocket? And I'd really like to make them a scrunchie, but. Oh, these that I got would make good um, yo yo's, wouldn't they? For my sewing journal. That would make a pretty yo-yo. That would. You have fun, Cheryl, going through those entries. Have you received mine yet? Melody hasn't received one of mine, and she should have. So I'm just checking. Well, look what I found, Jen and Zena. that look familiar to you? Okay, that's a pretty good pile. Okay, that's fine. Which one, Jen Ren? The sewing stuff? I got this at Joanne's when my sister and I went. And it was like, it was 40% off. And so I think I ended up getting um, some, I got, I got some others that I'm going to, that are more kidsy, but I'm using, I think it was like two bucks for four of them or something. So, anyhow, but this, I don't know if you, can you see my vintage clothes basket? Not even full. Those are my little scraps. And then I've got a basket that I'll go through for you because I need yo yo's. I mean, all I've got is this. Um, and then I've got a basket that I use for slow stitching. But these are big enough to do other things. My littler are, um, and that other basket. Let 
the cabinets, see, I'll, I'll let you see. Those at the top go clear across the room. And at that end, I have my fabric. And here I have craft supplies. Over here at this end are beads. And then the bottom shelf of this one here are what the Jackson and Emerson is free for all. They can get into that and get whatever they need. And then um, the bottom cabinets clear across are full of slides from when Greg was a little boy. And then there's a counter on it that I store and then above. Now, I have pushed around enough in the uh, bottom cabinets. I just have a little um, 31 bags. Is that it? The little file folder thing. Um, oh, thanks. My sister gave me dot it, Dorothy. Um, that I have patterns in. And I did put that down there and something else that I don't get in that often. But um, those are all slides my husband wants to sometime go through. And then she had a huge walk-in closet. She was wonderful at organizing for storage. Hi, Sharon. How are you today? And it has two shelves that go clear around the top of the, um, where you hang the clothes. And those are all photo albums. For, and my, my husband was born to 55 and his brother 52. There's some from before that. I found a photo album that she has of all the pets that she's had mainly horses and um, their names. And, and she has those organized. She was very organized with that kind of stuff. Um, amazing. No, Aunt Zena, I am in the back side of the living room. They built on in the 70s. And they built this living room. This is a, this started as 150 years, the oldest parts, 150, but they have remodeled, added to. I'm, she had a long um, living room and I'm in the back less than a half. And, um, but, there's bookshelves. I'll do, when I clean up, I may. Um, but now you have to remember, I share this with Emerson. So right in front of me is all of Emerson's stuff. Because now when we craft, she thinks she needs to be closest to the camera. And why not? I was born in 60, Lizzie. I was born 1960. Makes it very easy. Is this what you're talking about, Jasper? You want some of this? I will send you some but I need your address. You turned 60 last month. I know I'm a spring chicken. My husband's 67. He robbed the cradle. What I tell him. No, I don't mind at all. I mean, look how long this is. I'm, I'm a giver. I'm a giver, Jasper. Zena and Jen can tell you that. I mail them anytime. I'm waiting for their happy mails to come back. 
But anytime I find um, flamingos, and I'll send them some of this. I know they're doing a sewing journal like I am. But no, I'm a sharer. Um, I just like being shared back. But no, I'll give you some. I just, um, kcal78 at gmail is my, um, see if I can type on this. Oh, I can. I'll type my email. Whoops. There you go. Send me your address. Any of you that want some of this, I love to swap. Oh, you probably do, Jasper. Um, no, I love to swap. I, I probably send out a happy meal a day. Oh, Jen, that's so sweet of you. You know, she has been, she has gotten two happy meals from Janet Nash. We've done one video and I saw her last night and told her that mail had come for her today. She was telling everybody she knows that she gets happy mail. And um, so she's done one video. Another one came from Janet yesterday and Barbara um, every is sending her some. I love doing it, Jasper. But my um, daughter, stepmom, is is the one that does my hair, and she said, "Kathy, you got to get it, figure out TikTok. She'd be great on TikTok." So. I don't know that I want to do TikTok because I'd have to figure it out. Oh, Jen, I bet. Jasper, do you have any little girls? Anybody have little girls? I, I'll make barrettes and send them. No, I love sending happy mail. And it helps knowing what they like. See, Jasper... Hey, Stephanie G. I'm already starting your little pile. Um, let me get my sewing scissors. <coughs> Sorry about that cough. Well, yeah, I like velvet. What do you do with it? Crafting-wise, I mean. Ooh, wouldn't that make a neat flower? Wouldn't that make a pretty one of these? So as I'm going through, if any of you see fabric you want, say so. Don't be shy. I'm just cutting right now fabric to make in circles. Oh, leaves for the circles. Yes, it would. See? So wise. My philosophy with my YouTube channel is to show kindness, to show Jesus' love. Every day for me is an unexpected gift. And you learn that when you code and in a coma for six days. And they call the family in. If anybody wants to come over 
and dig through this picnic basket. Grab you a pumpkin muffin on your way to the living room. I always have baked goods. My love language is gifts. And unfortunately, my husband and son don't want them. I have seen you do that, Lizzie. Thanks for the reminder. Jen, come over. We can cough and hack and sniff together and make hot tea. We'll take turns making hot tea. Now this, I don't know if this is vintage or not. It's got little bitty bunnies. And to me, it kind of looks vintage. Now, I do have real gunny sack fabric. And I don't cut it. I wish I had tea right in front of me. Okay, who else is doing a flamingo journal? Nobody's yelling, so be sure to yell when you see something. I like to bake, too. Emerson loves to bake. She and Jackson both do. Pam, fly on up. I, I, I know your husband's home and it's getting ready to leave and you got children, but I'm just sure they wouldn't mind if mom left. Okay, Jen, I'm cutting something for you for your sewing journal. And I'll send some to Zena too. I want y'all sharing me sewing stuff. That's what I do, bake and garden. I'm, I'm a cottage gardener. I bet that really surprises y'all. <laughs> well, this was true gunny sack fabric. Oh, Barbara, glad you're here. I am going, I just learned to make yo-yos and I'm going through fabric and everybody is to tell me when they want some and I'm going to send them in a happy mail. So don't be shy, Barbara. Zena, where's your pile? There's a the pile. So I got Jen Ran and Zena. Lizzie's is over there. I understand or Pam, wait till your husband's gone, then just let the kids fend for themselves. I am kidding. I'd say bring those children, but the teacher in me. Um, would you cut these out, Jasper? You'd probably cut those out, wouldn't you? Calico, I, I don't know if I'll know. I'm cutting this for Jen and Zena's book. But yeah, I thought you might cussy fat that. Cussy fat, there's a new word for y'all. My husband's delivered the aprons. Okay, I'm to the polka dots now. I just wanted to get those cut. Well, Oh, I'm not 
worrying about anything, Jasper. I'm just sitting here cutting fabric. Cutting some for me and some for you. Now, would you call this a calico? I'm not sure what to call a calico. Would you call that a calico? You're welcome, Zena. I know I'm so sweet. Not really. And if you don't say you want something, you aren't getting it. So you best not be shy. Because you're only hurting yourself. You know, I could, but not this first set because I have never made them before. And I would like to make some. I might buy like Christmas time. Um, but until then... Uh, I need some practice. Oh, there's some dots. I have lots of polka dotted stuff. Lots of polka dotted stuff. So. And I'm just cutting for me for. Um, what those things are called. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. Now, this has stains on it, but this is probably one of my all-time fabrics. And I think it would make pretty yo-yos. But over here, I had this as a curtain. But this is brought on this side. Um, you can email me, kcal78 at gmail, but you got to tell me what you want. And for those of you that watched my last live, I put my chocolate chip cookie recipe on um, the description if you want it. Lizzie, you want some purple? Or do you want me to go ahead and make it into the yo-yo and then send it? I was just curious, this is why you wanted my email. If you want my address to send a million to, I'll share the money. Yeah, that one that Holiday Inn wanted me to make them. That was the craziest thing. Um, I put it on my description under that last live when we were talking about it. The shabby chic looking fabric that I just cut. This one, Jasper. I like the chubby chic. I think that's even better. Is this the one you're talking about? Zena, are you wanting some too? Y'all, you just got to set something. Some, you may get some that's faded. Okay. On it too, but... 
You can cut it off as easy as I can. Me too, Barbara. Me too. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that sounds good. I don't. Ice cream just sounds good. Not necessarily that brand. I don't know that I know that brand. My sister introduced us to um, Turkey Hill I chocolate peanut butter ice cream. And oh, is it good. These are going to make awfully tiny. I don't think I'm going to. Here's some circles already cut. Oh, Melody, I don't mind at all. You better get your name in the pot. There's some of this you want. Okay, polka dot, Jasper. <laughs> oh, Barbara, I don't know what it's like to be well. So I have to keep going. I know what it's like to be sicker some days than others i'm gonna send this to you jasper just because it's polka dot oh bless your heart jasper you did need groceries and this is real thin too so i'm just gonna send all that brown polka dot to you I don't know what you plan on doing with it. So if you don't want it, just say so. Here's some polka dot. Here's some polka dot. Well, you're getting all of that orange, I think, because I don't know what I'd do with that little strip. Try put it on a snippet roll. I'm looking. Oh, here's some strawberries you might like. Oh, would you cut these flowers out, Jasper? Chubby chick ribbons with fabric. Are you talking like, I might think of um, banners? I take strips to make my own rope. I want to make a rope basket. But I've got rope started down there and rope started up here. But if you'll cut out these daisies you can have, I'll just send it. Just send it. I'm going to be like Lizzie. Just send it. Ah. <sighs> 
here's some strawberries. Well, Barbara, what ones do you want? My sister gave this to me. So, you know, I'll share the love. And truly, my pile's bigger than all y'all's. So, there's the gingham. I need to put that into my rope. Oh, well, laundry's not fun. Okay, well, you're getting the daisies whether you wanted them or not. Does it, Marilyn? I'm sorry. I not felt good. My son does not remember mom feeling good, and he's 34. Now, I have good days and bad days. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, oh, here's a lot more polka dots. But, Jasper, I know what I'm getting for Christmas. <laughs> My husband would like me to be healthy. He and he's a caregiver. He is a caregiver. He see here's now. You don't want these. I'll throw those over there. My curtains are strips like this. Oh, don't look at my hair. Um are strips of fabric that you tie on the curtain. Well, I'll just show you. Those are my curtains. See all that fabric? Those are the curtains on these windows and the front two windows and in the bathroom. And, um, Oops. And so these are left over from them. Do you want them, Jasper? These strips that are left over. Yeah, my husband wasn't up here yet when I was making the curtains, and he got up here, and he is not a fan. Hi, Julia. I'm sharing fabric. Okay. So the ones that have been on the window are coming. Oh, this is so fun. Y'all, I'm having more fun than you are. And Jasper, if I send you some you don't want, gift it. Y'all can let Julia know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. I had to get down to it. Here's some of that leftover fabric. Oh, I, I have, I, you don't have near a pound. And I'll just put it in a bag and take it to the um, post office. I don't have any way to weigh it. Now, I'm giving Jasper these. I know, Julia, you have all my piggies. I've sent you all the piggies I got. Oh, Jasper, no, we're going to swap, remember? We're good. 
Pam, it was so easy. I had thought, of, and this is what I had in my office when I was a librarian. I've thought about evening them up. Then Jasper could actually have more strips. Um, but that would require me doing it. So I haven't yet. But Lizzie can tell y'all. Selling the farm? No, I'm giving it away. I'm giving scrap fabric away. I learned to make a yo-yo. And so I was getting scrap fabric and people liked some of it. So I'm sending it to them. Uh, you're not spoiled, right? And I can't smell you yet. Of course, I stopped up. I can't smell much of anything, but. So oh, here's some more strips. Look what I found. This was pink. Oh, Lizzie loves it. I've sent her some red and some blue. Is it ticking fabric? It's like this. Um, only this is red and I got blue and this is pink. <laughs> Barbara, I just love you. I just love you. Okay, Jen, do you want some of this pink? That's right, Marilyn. You, you better be getting your name in the pot. Don't be shy around me. It's like when somebody comes, I show them where stuff is in the kitchen and that they don't get their own drink. Sucks to be them. Love you, too. The mailman didn't stop at my mailbox. Of course, Julie, I'll send you some. But you got to say what you want. I'll kind of go through my pile and stuff. But you got to say when you want something. Julia swaps. I need to move these fabric flowers out of the way. You guys probably don't want all that crap. Mm. This is what I started making, Julia, Marilyn. And um, got sidetracked. Any ticking? Okay. Because of these strips, what I don't give away, I'm just going to make into rope. So. I kind of call this ticking. It's really not, but it's close to it. Um, de -dum, de -dum. See, I cut all these to make the curtains, and then I didn't need them all. That's right, Pam. But if you don't tell me what you want, you don't get any. So, just saying. Okay, Julia. I don't have lots of the red, so I can't send y'all very much. Uh, 
I need to make new kitchen curtains in Missouri and um, I mean in Florida and those curtains are blue ticking. I bought a bolt of that for blue ticking. So, and I could do this in Florida, y'all. <laughs> oh, Stephanie, that's funny. If it starts talking to me, I'll let you know. It starts a talking, I'll let you know. Okay, for those latecomers, it, this is what started it was this fabric. So if you need a pile, I have a Jasper Pyre pile, I have a Xena pile, I have a Jen Ren, I have a little Lizzie pile. Who doesn't have, a, oh, I have Mia pile. This would be the easy way to show you. This is some of from my pile. So um, you can see what I've got down there in the picnic basket. Some of this, some of this, I don't think like this is all I got, I think. But I would be happy to look. I could, Stephanie. Great idea. Emerson could do that and be a TikTok girl. I have lots of polka dots. Jasper's crazy. You like that yellow fabric? This plaid, Zena? This? Is this what you're talking about, Zena? There you go. It's in your pile. I know, Pam. I'm expecting you to remember. See, people want to know what to do with scraps. Now they know. And it would never have crossed my mind y'all would have wanted some of this. And I already had these circles cut for yo-yos. That's why I was going through my scraps to do yo-yos. And um, so if you want some of this already cut, let me know. I think this doily fabric will be a cool yo-yo. And then I had this purple. And then, see, I call this calico. Is that what you call, <laughs> I mean, you don't think so? Do you call this calico Jasper out of curiosity? I call this blue and brown calico. This gingham? Yes, it's cotton. Okay, I've, I've got some gingham up there for you. I'll put this that you call calico up there. See, there you go, Pam. They get excited. They want our scraps. We can sew the fun stuff and... Oh, Julia, you most certainly can have. Thank you for asking. I'll put it right over here where my pile was. Here's some shabby chic. Here's some brown. I just thought this would make a good yo-yo for um, slow stitching. See, we're going to be the happy makers, Pam. I had some polka dot and I had this floor. This was for my sister. And then I had the bunny that looks like gingham. I not gingham. That looks like um y'all aren't helping me with my words. That looks like uh gunny sack material. 
I have this gray. I have this white. This white is what my sister did for the top of uh, towels for one of her daughters. Okay, that's enough for me. Okay, then let me see if I have more gingham. Oh, there's more already cut. Oh, well, thank you, Jasper. That was sweet. Well, there you go, Pam. I don't throw mine away. Now, I did just make um, new pillows for my sewing chair. Oh, goodness. That's more than enough, Jasper. Um, and I use scraps to fill my pillows. And when the kids were making the Lolo dolls, I used scraps for... Um, them aren't those the things you ever did see <laughs> oh these poor babies <laughs> mine's name's gertie and this is gertie and emerson named her sunny because she's in the sunshine at the beach oh but that's what I've been using them for. Oh, Pam. Bless his little heart. Well, Ju Jasper, you don't need to do all that. Julia, I have never made a hexagon. Would you mind sending me a pattern, a paper pattern to copy it off? That's right, Barbara. She was a showgirl. Um, on Facebook, and I learned this <coughs> from Janet Nash, um, they're little old ladies with attitude. And there's a Facebook site that you can join and just watch the and see, oh, some of them are elaborate. Jasper, isn't it fun? It is so fun to make people smile. But like these little pieces of fabric pan, there's nothing I can do with those. So they'll go as stuffing. Um, now I have dots that are knit, but you just want cotton, don't you, Jasper? But I am going to try and make a yo-yo out of this. According to Lizzie, you can make a yo-yo out of anything. So why not? I do too, Julia. I love looking at them. And some of these ladies make houses for them. I just love it when it pops up. Well, now here's kind of boho if anybody like something bright like that that would make it if not i'm gonna leave it out for pockets and yo-yos i have an antique dolls that was my mother-in-law's when she was a little girl that has no clothes and um no you're not jasper i'm sharing in all the piles Everybody gets the same stuff you're getting. Um, and I need to make a, something for her. But um, I don't know how. You like the bright one? Okay. Thank you, Jasper. And if a lot of people like it, y'all get a smaller piece. These are dragonflies that I may use on one of those dresses. I've got 12 cutouts, so um, here's bumblebee fabric I've already sent to Beth. 
Here's some daisies. Look at all these. My sister had them in a scrap from a thrift store. And I think they were banners. Um, but I'll send some to Jasper. I've got another one here. <clears throat> and um, they've got Velcro on the two corners. And I can't figure out what they were, except I'm wondering if they were dog handkerchiefs, you know, to go around a dog's neck and hang down. That's the only thing I can think they are. I should send one to Janet for Freddie, but I don't think he'd be very excited. I, I don't know what they are, but had a bunch of them from that she bought. And there's this that doesn't have the squares. Now they're surged around. I would love to know what somebody did with them. Oh, might have been in front of a stall, possibly. Like a banner. Well, that could be. I don't know. But I left her a bunch of them and I took a bunch. A hexagon quilt. Oh, Pam, I bet that was beautiful. You like the bright ones? Okay, Julia. I got you one in the pot. So you probably would like this one, Julia. I'll send you some of it. Yeah, I sent you some flowers. I, I, I figured out what you wanted. Um, here's some more brights. This is pretty shabby chic, girls. I'm going to keep one for a, um, yo, yo. Okay, shabby chic there. All right, Jen. What about this bright one? Do you want it? I can make a pile for Janet. What kind of stuff? Julia, I'm not sure if I know her taste in fabrics. Oh, y'all, welcome. I'll see if I got any more of that pink floral fabric. I know I got lots of pink. I have lots of shabby chic. Lots of shabby chic. I may not have it in scraps, but I have shabby chic. Let me look in my little scraps. I'll be right back, ladies. It's not far.
Oh, Zine, I bet. The more florals you have, Z and Jen will love you. What about you, Stephanie? You just love me anyway, don't you? Oh, she will, Barbara. She'll spit it into gold. I will just make her a pile. My gosh, she sends happy mail to me and to Emerson. It's the least I can do. Oh, I know, Zena. Um, my girlfriend in Florida um, gave me her daughter's comforter and um, um, sheets and pillowcases. I didn't think I would ever get that used up. I was so tired of that fabric. I made cotton sheets for my daughter-in-law's cots at her daycare. I um, bowl koozies. I, oh. Okay, you all can ooh and ah. This is one of my favorites. Now, I am not cutting straight so Zena, you'd have gotten tired of it hello victoria welcome to the mess i'm assuming that this is a yes oh jen has that one So, Zena, is that a yes? <laughs> I probably Jen Ren too, huh? I may make some um, um Yo, yes, I cannot remember that word. Do you want some, Barbara? Victoria, would you like some? I'm cleaning out scraps. So if you see something you like, let me know. Here's some brown ticking. That you ticking chicks were wanting. Well, you know what all would be really funny? If one of you, it'd be wonderful. I'd have no problem with it. Um, <laughs> I got my um, drawing for liking, for commenting on my live yesterday. And I sent you fabric you didn't like but I think y'all just kind of like what I like and that works too <sighs> who else wanted ticking oh you want this this one okay Julia it's got dragonflies on it Barbara, you are such a blessing. I hope your husband tells you that every day. Here's another one that I had a little piece, but anybody that I didn't get that came in? Oh, me too. Thank you, Jasper. 
I don't know what you shared. I hope it was kind. Oh, I've had this a long time. I made a little dress for Emerson out of this. I'm glad you guys aren't shy. Jen, did you want some of that brown? I kind of know flowers go in all the piles. Oh, my channel. Thank you. I am really trying to grow it. I, I'm at 102. Forty seventh anniversary. Jen, you got already got this one, sweetie. I've already put it in your pile. But I'll get this one before I forget it. And if you see I forget, let me know. I try and do I have Jasper? I checked myself this morning for COVID. I do have allergies and um, my husband had a really bad sinus infection. And for a while I thought I got, got it from him, but I don't have the same symptoms. Jasper, I do Mucinex, and that has helped my throat. Um, I'm just going to cut a piece of this. I'm going to make yo-yos out of this. Um, it's helped my throat, but my head hurts. My, my body aches, but I don't know. That could be my fibromyalgia. I don't know. Um but my throat and head were hurting and I've had it for a few days, but I also get this every February, I mean, February, every fall. And it doesn't matter if I'm in Florida or if I'm in um, Missouri, I get it every fall. on the Benadryl, it just makes me sleepy and the um, Mucinex doesn't. But you guys are helping me not think about myself and that's always good. Okay, Jen and Zena, I think I've already sent you the um, flamingos. I'll send some to Janet. Here's pink birds. Janet will do something with, I know. And I have lots of this, if any of you are wanting it. This is stuff I took also to my sister for her eye spy. Okay, I've already gotten into all this. Okay. These are two of, this is part of what I made a dress out of yesterday. Um... Any more in this? I have quilt pieces in here that she gave me. I'm trying to 
sort through. Try and give you some pieces to cut out. Who's the co-exec? That's interesting. I want to ex co-exec. If I couldn't be in bed, I wouldn't be fussy cutting. I don't know why I'm not using my sewing scissors. I do. I love ripping fabric. <laughs> love it. This one, Jasper, is for you. I put that in the wrong one. I'm giving you big enough flowers to cut. Now, I would probably cut these. I need to... I need a pair. I need to not be so lazy and cut some of these out. Okay, Jen. Sleeve cushions. Yes, I have. Or were you talking to Jen? Okay, you got I guess Zena, if she stepped away, sees yours, Jen, or rewatches or something and wants this flowered one, she can say something. Oh girls. Oh girls. Oh girls. I will never sew this. Oh, okay, Julia. I will. I didn't give you flowers. Oh, it's laying here. I certainly will. Why not, Kathy? <laughs> I, if you want to see a sewing, uh, Jasper, I don't know if you've watched my the sewing room video I made from my sister's ha sewing room. She has a stash. I am trying to use my stash was for projects and then last year i was sick and um ended up in mayo's a couple of times so last year i didn't sew and so it kind of accumulated and um and then my september my Coding was separate. Okay, here is gingham. Here are dots. I know Jasper wants these. If others do too, you need to say something so I can share. I would love to hear it, Barbara.
Barbara, would you ever get on here and just talk with me? Oh, really, Pam? Well, then I think we need a tour. Thank you, Jen. I'm just going to put one of these in each of your piles. I put, see, and they're sewn together, but you can cut them or do something with them. And Barbara, that way, if you don't want to be seen, if you don't want to, you wouldn't be dead air because I'd be talking if you weren't. You could tell your story, though. Are you guys wanting, because I probably won't use this big check too much. I'll probably leave some for um, yo-yos, but that's probably about it. So I'll give you guys some more of this green and share the love. Uh, that's right, Victoria. Let's all say, hi, Pam. Isn't that what they do at those anonymous meetings? I think she would be awesome. She is such an encouraging person. Barbara, you always have a nice thing to say to everybody. Victoria, you've not said if you want any of these. You're sitting over there so quiet. Wow. I can't imagine. Does your husband say anything about it, Pam? See, mine. Mine gives me a hard time. I mean, not a mean hard time. Don't get me wrong, but. Well, Barbara, you're the kind one. <laughs> That's, for That's what. You're a craft a hoarder, huh? I don't hoard. I am not a hoarder. I use what I have. And if I don't use it, as you can see, I get rid of it. I'm happy to, I've given a lot to school, went to my school I was working at. I mean, I gave a, a trunk load. Um, because I wasn't using the stuff. Now, some I rebought because then I decided I wanted it. Um, it, it does, Barbara. It comes right back to you. And, um, but I don't hoard it. And that's why I let Emerson get in my sash. You guys, I am just splitting these up. as they are. Okay. The, what these are, are cuts of fabric. Look, see, here's some more of this. So you may get two cuts. See, I'm not even asking you anymore. You're right, Barbara. Now, Barbara, what all do you sew? Do you sew quilts and stuff? Is that what your fabric is from? Or just crafting. I'm just taking a break and waiting for somebody to say I want that. See, now do you sew little dresses for your little girl? Don't you have a daughter?
and fitness in piles, whether you want it or not. Hi, Esther. We're still here. I know, it's scary. No, I don't know that anybody wants these. I anymore just save cotton. I have fabric over here behind me for the consignment shop because it's not fabric I can use. Um, Jasper, did I give you pre white? Okay, got it. Sewing stuff for that you're using for your journals, Jen. Oh, I, I'm just waiting to hear more about that. Now, do you call them craft rooms or studios? So in your dream world, Barbara, what would you craft? Aren't you doing a sewing journal, Jen, like Xena? Maybe you're not. Julia, <laughs> a desk in the front room. <laughs> hey, that works. And that's what Lizzie says to do. Use the whole house. And I love it because she'll say, Papa doesn't take much room. Okay, some of the fabric you have, I don't have. Blue, this, Julia, in your pile. Jasper, in your pile. See, if I lived alone, that's what it would be. Right now, the house is brown paneling because it's from the 70s. And um, his mother's favorite color was chocolate brown. So the house is dark. Even the ceiling in here is dark. But now I don't even have a um, light in the living room. I have the spotlights that she used for the arrowheads on above me. But with this window, I get plenty of light. But um, I don't, but my husband kind of puts a lid on that. But like this um, enamel bowl of um, lace and stuff, I keep on a table in the living room part as decor. But he's not ready yet to, I'm leaving this turquoise all stuff out waiting for people to comment. Um, I know the dots you want, Jasper. And I've given you um, what I know, you, what I, I've given you some Julie too, Julia too. Um, but he is not ready. He, I mean, he grew up here. So he isn't ready yet um, to paint. And I have to respect that. Yeah, I do too. Okay, Jen. See, I've got to know those things, y'all. My favorite colors, teal, pink, yellow, turquoise. Yeah, I, I don't have a favorite color. 
So if I missed something that you wanted, I'm sorry. Well, Jasper, you've even been making things to sell. Hi, Jens. You love teal. Oh, and you're doing a journal. I better get you a pile made here, friend. You're going to have lots of teal for that journal. I'm getting rid of fabric, Jen. Not a huge fan of it, but I like it with teal. And I loved it as a kid in the 70s. Big lover of mint. Have you seen mint? I don't know if I have mint. I believe that life is about using the whole box of crayons. Zena, maybe it's more the coral. And by the way, Jen um, has been filling up your pile for you, Zena. Um, there, I think you're caught up on all the teal. See, I've, I've got this. I have ready to glue and to stitch, and I just have it yet. There's your pigs, Julia. I'll send you all some quilt fabric from the old quilt I've got, too. Because I know you all want that. Now, my husband would said, say, what makes you think they want all your crap? I know, Julia. I did that just for you. Have I, I don't remember if I shared this or not. Have I put this in piles? Did it, or do, Jasper, I know you'll cut this out. I think I've given it. No, I haven't. It was something else. No, it's not crap, Esther. Oh, pretty, Zena. Okay, Julia. I, I don't remember what I asked. Oh, Jasper, this fabric. I, ha I hadn't got it out. Do you want it to cut out? I'm going to need a lint roller on me. I figured... I love people who aren't shy. Pistachio tree. Exactly, Esther. I'm get, Jasper, would Ange be able to use some of these scraps? I know she does a lot of sewing for her money. No, I don't, Barbara.
I'm waiting. Back in the old days, they thought evil spirits could enter your body when you sneezed. So they'd say, bless you to protect the person. Barbara, are they right? Oh, I know you will, Jasper, but I'll just go ahead and make her a pile while I have some of this out. If she's just had such a rough time, I want to let her know I'm thinking of her. I think these would make cute... Um, Boho, not boho. What is it I'm making? Yo yo's. Do you need some things, Esther? What fire? Oh my gosh, I'm making piles of fabric to give to people. What do you need? Esther, please speak up. I have so much I could send you. Oh, I have heard that, Barbara. I have heard that. I'm waiting on Esther or somebody to tell me what happened to her. So Esther, you're you're okay? You scared the pudding out of me. Oh. Now you guys are going to sit here and watch me make a pile for Ange. Do any of you want some of this? I thought Esther had lost everything in a fire, Jasper. Oh, I didn't realize you were disabled. I'm sorry. Well, would you like some fabric, Esther? That's what I am. Si I've been sitting here doing is making piles for these people who are wonderful. And by the way, if you haven't liked my channel, do any of you want any of this? If not, I'm going to send it all to Ange. So now you're not going to say anything, are you? But I'm going to send her a box. Oh, Esther. That's this house. My I had to redo the plugs because my husband and son were worried about it. And they were worried about fire. Okay, Jasper. What kind of things do you use? And um, just because it's an old house, old electricity and stuff like that. So I redid the electricity and the cords and that kind of stuff. Oh, Esther, don't be shy. These ladies aren't. They're my friends. I might have said your name. I don't remember, Jasper. 
That was more than a second ago. Um, but Andy said it'd probably be the craft room that'd be the first thing to go because, of course, I've got all the paper and stuff. <laughs> and I said, yeah. And that would be, oh, these are apron cutouts. I'm not going to send you those. I'm going to sew those babies. Um, but I will send you a pile. And um, I said, yeah, I said, that'd be the, um, first thing Emerson would be upset about. And, um, and he goes, yeah, the least important and easiest to replace, but not, a, not for everybody. And yes, Barbara, I have heard of it. I have heard of it. Okay, uh, Esther, I need favorite colors and stuff. What kind of things do you use fabric for? And I'm not going to send you so much that you're going to be embarrassed. I'm just making piles for these ladies. I'm going to make start you and Ange one too. I kind of know what Ange makes. Oh, that'd be cute, Pam. When people ask you to make that stuff, do you just um, look for a pattern or do you make your own? See, Esther, I think you're new to my channel. I think you've been here before. I don't know if you've subscribed or not. Oh, I love up on everybody, whether they want to be loved up on or not. Beth, bless her heart, sent me a message and told me one of her subbies wasn't even a subby of mine. Dangly charms, flowers out of fabric or paper, painting, things like that. Okay. Um, and, um, see, I've already forgot what I was saying, Jasper. Well, if you see something you definitely can use, please say something, will you? Well, I guess I didn't give any of this to Ange. I'm thinking more yo-yos. I know she makes the... Um, baskets out of scraps. I'm assuming they're out of scraps. And yo-yos. I don't know what else she makes. Oh, thank you, Esther. Do you Now, do you have a channel? Have you been able to replace all that? Hi, babe. I got some more muffin mess stuff for you. Some more what? Muffin. Muffin Zucchini, mail? Zucchini and something else. Oh, warm. yeah. Still warm. <gasps> From who? Charlotte. Bless her heart. Yes, please. My husband came home from town and a friend of ours sent zucchini bread home with him. Yes, Stephanie, they're easy. Let me show you. I've even got some circles cut out and I'll use one of them and you can make them any size. Lizzie was watching in Boston. Please. 
It's warm straight out of the oven. Um, let me find my needle and thread. If you watch the beginning part, Stephanie, um, you'll see how I made fabric. I made fabric flowers. And um, then I was talking about I wanted to learn to make a yo-yo. And so these ladies taught me how. I use my phone, Esther. That's what I, but I've only been, I've been doing this less than a month. So I haven't gone too long. Well, Esther, be sure to let me know. I think I did, Jasper. I think that's probably what I did. No, I've not. I've. I don't have a shredder. Okay. And then after I made my first one, they said if I hem, I'm gonna bring you down. Sorry about that. So sorry about that. Okay. You fold it over for a little hem. I'm not doing the hem. You can fold it over to make a hem. I'm not. And then you just sew around the edge. And I'll show you one I have that's been sewed that I purchase. And I've also will leave my email in the description. I would appreciate all of you sending me, emailing me your address. Okay, see how I am sewing around to this? Come on in, hon. You've been on that since I left? Yeah, I have. People are tired of listening to me. They're going to be tired of listening to me? Well, they can leave. I have more people coming in. Can you believe it, honey? Nope. nope. And you just go, and you can do this any size circle you want. Lizzie says she makes a square to make her circle. She makes a square and folds it and, and cuts it that way. I trace these out of, um, oh, I'm sorry. Is this better? How's that? I'm in the corner. Okay, this is what I need. There. There we go. Um, and um, then cuts the corners is how she does it. Oh, Esther, I will always stop and talk. My philosophy is with my YouTube, people are more important than my um, craft. And I try to watch it. I, I, I'm not good with getting close up. So I am working on that. Okay. Hey, do you see how I've gone around and made like a bonnet? I've just basted this. Oh, thanks, Pam. Love listening to me. And then I need to do another stitch. Whoops. Hmm. 
I can do the teaching part. I mean, I only did it for 35 years, but it's the camera part I'm still working on. Okay. Do you see how I went at, went around, Stephanie? And then I just kind of played with it. Do you see that in that right-hand bottom corner? Whoops. Boy, I got way away when I was playing with it, didn't I? Okay, and then I'm trying to keep see if this next part's going to show. Oh, Jen. Put it over the pink fabric. See, Jan, you're not bossy. You're helpful. Well, I guess, you know, I don't need to move the fabric, do I, Julia? Thank you for telling me what I need to do. Okay. Awesome. Now, I just sew this together. If you don't want those frayed edges to show Stephanie then that's when you would turn it down I'm trying to find a light colored one that's when you would turn it down there Here's one. And see how you don't see the frayed edges? Now, Lizzie said she doesn't pull it as tight as I do. So you can um, do it any way you want to. Okay, Stephanie, and then I don't know if you know sewing terms or anything. You just tack or baste or sew all this together, mainly so your string doesn't come out is what you're doing. And you're going to cover it. I always do with a button or something. And um, and I just came around and I, I've just learned to do this. So And then knot it. And when I knot thread, I go in and then I come through my loop. I really should be doing this left-handed, but I don't know if I can. Um, and then I come back where that kind of knotted. Come under that. Loop again through your thread. Tighten all that. Cut off your thread. Put your needle where it won't fall on the floor. And you step on it. Or somebody does. And then that is your knot. I have a 10 second lag. I haven't read any of the chat doing this. I'll go closer to that, don't I? And then you've got a yo-yo. And then what started the channel, for those of you that just came in, I was making 
these fabric flowers and watch the beginning of it and you'll see. And I'm going to let Emerson choose if she wants them on these little barrette clip thingies I've got somewhere for her hair. Or if, um, or I'll give them, excuse me, I'll give them away. I wear fabric flowers on my clothes. I haven't put it there yet, Esther. It's K, as in Kathy Cowell, 78 at gmail.com. I saw somebody went through a tornado, so they understand. Oh, my favorite color's pink, too. I'm, I'm at the... Oh, Jasper, how sweet. No, I bet not, Jen. You don't worry about all that. You worry about the people and pets. No, oh, thanks, Julia. You've got this, Jasper. Teal flower. This one, is that the one you're talking about? Aw, I'm glad you were okay. I hate to be rude, but I've not eaten lunch, and I really want to try. Homemade zucchini bread from the zucchinis. Mmm. Very good. Okay, Jasper, sit back and be grateful. Okay, I put it in your pile, Zena. That till flowers going home with you. Okay, where was I? See, I get kind of sidetracked. But you can see from just a little baby jar, I need more. More, more, more. I'm going to stick these in this. See, this is my flower jar. I'm sticking them in. All right, back to my fabric. I'm going to send some of this to Ange and um, because I know good and well if Ange was sitting here she'd say I'd never ask somebody for fabric <laughs> wouldn't she it is just stuff Jen it is just stuff I'm addicted to purses and more when I worked than I am now but I get tired of them real easily and um I 
and I don't buy the cheap ones. And um, gave we'd give them away. Four hundred dollar rate handbags, y'all. And I'd give them away. I got, I was tired of them. I didn't want to use them. Just give them away. And my husband gave them away. He didn't know how much I spent, though. But I put them all out. It would be so fun. I put them all out on the floor. And... um send a picture to a couple nieces and then they'd tell me what they wanted or I'd take them to school and lay them on a chair and teachers could come and just take what they wanted and they weren't all $400 bags but there wasn't a cheap one probably the cheapest I've ever spent $100 on a bag but I've been blessed Pink bird sure, Julia. Let me make sure. I think I may have given you some. No, I didn't. I oh, I gave it to um Ju uh, not Julia, Janet. There you go, my friend. She had another uncle die, Jen. That's what's happened. I have purses up here and I have purses in Florida. I think I've got three Brahmin. I have Fry. I have. It, it, it's crazy. Now, the one I'm carrying now is a $30 canvas one. Yeah, I do too, Barbara, and I love the feel of leather. And this would make a pretty yo-yo, wouldn't it? We'll let Angie make one. Because I'm never going to get all those that I've put to the side done. Oh, let me see. Oh, these were those aprons I cut out. Oh, Barbara, I am with you. And the shoes. I'm thinking this green and Dr. Seuss fabric might um, I made aprons out of this. And this is the scrap. If any of you want it, let me know. Oh, I do, Jasper. I've gotten, as I got older, I've gotten a pickier. Um, in that it has to have a pocket on the outside. And I don't 
like the floppy bags much anymore where everything moves. And since my episode, I am trying not to um, carry as much. The teachers would laugh and tell me that if there was an apocalypse, they were going to find me because I could survive out of my purse. Oh, Julia, definitely. You want all of it? Does anybody else want this Dr. Seuss? That would make a yo-yo. So, but I have a friend and we'll swap sometimes. I have Tori Burke. I do. Did you notice I'm not giving all those away? I don't mail them except to nieces. LOL. I'm going to send Ange some of this smaller fabric. Those are from a jelly roll and I'll use those for my snippet rolls. Sorry, ladies. I'm not sharing these. Um, <laughs> That's funny, Barbara. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Okay, Jen and J Julia, what are you sharing? Has to zip. Most of mine do, but not all. Not all. This was a tablecloth. And I'm going to send it... I made um, a cardigan thing out of it to wear, and um, I'm going to, I wonder if, I bet they'd make a pretty jelly, I mean, yo-yo. I'm going to try, just out of curiosity. <sighs> See, Barbara, if you would come on, you could share those stories with us. Oh, definitely, Julia. I miss that. I'm having trouble keeping up. My husband's in shock that you guys are listening to me. I use to have to swap my billfold when I swapped my purse. But not so much anymore. I need to send these. Would Ann use these, Jasper, for her baskets? I have a relaxing voice. Oh, I think it's the most irritating sound in the world. I despise listening to my, um, maybe it's because I'm about to lose my voice. I think it's the most irritating sound in the world. Oh, Jen, I would buy some of that vintage antique pieces. I have laces. Now, my trims I use. Oh, look what I just found. Oh. Oh. 
Um, Esther, are you still here? I want to know if you want this piece. Really, Barbara? I'm going to tell my husband that. I have a soothing voice, honey. Oh, Jasper, do. This has been so rewarding. Esther, Esther to the front of the store, please. Esther to the front of the store. Esther, to the front of the store, please. Esther, where are you? Oh, Esther, could you use like some of these? Um, I don't know what they're called. Um, blingy things. I'll put some in a little bag for you. I know Jesper. Jesper, I just changed your name. Jen's sassy. Oh. Esther, please let me know. All right. If you want some of this bling. Because in a lifetime, I will never use that. Well, I, I have a teacher's voice. And my husband and son, not recently more than once have told me, okay, Esther, I will get a bag and put some in it. Um, not to use that teacher voice on them. You all, Esther doesn't realize it. I'm just now down, to, back down to the um, picnic basket of scraps. I, I've got it out and I'm going to set it here and I will sort some out for you, Esther. Um <coughs> I will also send you some buttons. Well, I can't wait to see you. Fussy cutting. I don't like to fussy cut. And that's probably why. I, oh, yeah. I don't like to fussy cut. Okay, ladies. Esther, you need to hang, stay on. Because I'm going through the scraps. I already did the ladies, and you need to tell me what you want and what you don't want. So if you don't want something, I'm going to put it in your pile unless you tell me no. Sure I did. That's why God saved my life more than once. There is a purpose in my life, and Esther, today might be the only reason I am alive. I don't know. My son said after I came out of the coma, it was drug-induced. Um, he called, and he said, Mom, you ever scare him? Us like that again I'm going to knock the shit out of you because they flew to Pensacola some of these odd shapes Esther I am just folding and if you guys see something you didn't before just taller. Thank you, Julia. Now, these knit pieces 
are cut to make headbands. I have short hair, as you all probably know. Emerson has long. But these I cut to make into the headbands. And, you know, you have like the little point corner. Um, oh, I would, Jens. Um, but I don't. <coughs> I might not get another $400 purse because I ship to you. I'm laughing. Um, but anyway, and then you cut it. I'm just going to cut this one. Kind of cut it like this on both ends. Like you would a scrunchy type thing. At both ends. Sew it. Now, remember, if you're sewing knit, you need to use a um, zigzag stitch if you don't have a... Um, serger and I don't and you need to um you need a jersey um a jersey needle and so leave some because you're going to flip it out and so you take this and you sew it and then you turn it right side out and then you have a headband that you tie a knot at the top of um your head for a headband so I've got knit here if any of you want knit to use otherwise it's I'll either keep some but Emerson won't leave them on so um That's why I'm, I'm, I'm not keeping them. I cut a bunch and sold them. But she won't leave them on. So there you go. Oh, is that an apron? No. Oh, that's a... Um, Oh, I can't wait to see you use them. Um... Yes, Esther, always come see us. Now, Denim, Jasper can tell me if you see something that Angie won't use. Like this denim, I'm, I'm sending it. They're in the kitchen. Um... Getting ready to can salsa. So you're going to hear them in the back. And please ignore any bad words. Yes, Jasper, it was meant to be. Right, Jasper. That's what I'm trying to... But is there a certain fabric she uses or do you know? I bought a couple of them, but they got delivered to my Florida house. I sent Keisha the new address, but it didn't get to the here. So... Um, Oh, I am so glad. And I'll find a little box and I will send you some other things too. Hi, Marty. You're ready to dance the salsa? You just dance away, girl.
Oh, pink monkeys, definitely. Marty, are you going to be dancing with the stars? Is that where you're headed? My brother and sis, younger sister are just like me. My brother has um, provides stages for concerts, like big name people. He's done presidents, all that, you know, cool kind of stuff. But when Hurricane Michael hit Panama City, he started hurricane relief as well. Hi, Happy Maker. And um, he took donations and he would deliver. And then at Christmas, he collected Christmas presents for the kids. And now it, it, it's just people. I mean, he's just getting stuff ready. Oh, this is turquoise. Jens, you get it, whether you want it or not. Um, Esther, do you want knit? I don't do much knitting. Uh, I mean, much with knits with my journals and stuff. I use knit in, at sewing. Well, I've got, honey, Esther, Esther, Esther. I think I will share some lace with you. I have yarn. I do and I don't, Julia. So, Esther, I'll, but I probably won't do this here on live unless you would like me to. My husband can't believe anybody stuck around. I'm going to give that little bit to Ange for yo-yos. Um, so he has a giving heart too. I know. And Julia, I left a lot in Florida. Now, I will say some of this came as Happy Mail. Um and the rest and thrift stores is where that's all come from. I'll send you some felt to Esther. Yes, Jasper, lace and trims. Okay, Jasper. Okay. Jasper, what do you do? Is crafting your main income? I'm just nosy. Oh, Barbara. Oh, don't you, Zena? Don't you? Well, nobody said I was destashing all my laces, women. You're so funny. I'll send some maybe to Esther. No, I would. If you all found something you wanted, you know, 
I would. I'm sending her scraps for her rope basket. Okay, junk journals. Fabric samples and wallpaper samples. Okay. You're giving fabric samples and wallpapers. Addicted to shopping. Huh. I'm not hearing Esther much saying I want that. Boxes and boxes. I don't do lots with wallpaper. I do some, of course. <sighs> Marty, you're bad. Okay, Happy, we will probably be here. Oh, I've inspired you. Awesome. I'm going to can't do much with that. Okay, girls, girls in the box. Teach Esther how to say, I want that. Okay, Esther, say it with us. I want that. No, I, I was just, my whole thought was make this a bigger hole so that whenever we want to bring the tractor in here, right, right. we can. And then, because my whole thing eventually. Now, this pile right here is your pile, Esther. That eight cents I built. And down there at the end is a 16 foot pan. The 12 foot panel. Right, right. Like that. I was going to put a gate in. I'm sending you some white here. My sister gave me you can stamp on. I don't know if you ever stamp on like white, Esther. Jens, thank you. And some of these pieces, I'm just going back and forth between you and Ange. Well, I'm sending you some that you can stamp on, my friend. Some I'm sharing. A lot of you know Esther better than I. Oh, cry. Oh, Esther, smile. Smile. Does anybody have any use? I had to shorten my husband's hunting pants and I kept them I have no use for them do any 
of you. Hi, Carol. I didn't. I, I'm going through my stash and giving stuff away, Carol. So pop up if you see something you like. But if any of you want this um, bottom to his hunting pants, just let me know. And Jasper, I'll pay for shipping. Don't you worry anything about that. And I can pay for my own shipping. Your shipping. You just let me know, honey. I'm sending you some fleece. I use... Um, Felice and Minky to make little tag toys. I don't care, Carol. I'll send it to you. Okay, Jasper, if you're sure. But Carol, if you see something, you just let me know. I, I'm homesick today. I thought I had COVID. And I started making flowers. I'll be telling this story. Barb likes leather. Yes. Linen is good for printing and I've got some I'm going to get out. Um, see, this is the kind of stuff I'm sending you some of. Um, Zena liked that color. I'll send her some of it. But um, I was making fabric flowers, not feeling good, and wanted company. So I turned on, I turned on my live four hours ago, Carol. People have sat here for four hours. And um, am I digressing? <laughs> Um, so anyway, we got to talking about fabric and it all went on from there. And I found out Esther had a fire and lost a lot of craft supplies. And I know that Ange is going through a rough time. I'm having to start a new pile. So I am making them a pile to send. I'm sending it to England. So there. I'm going to keep some of this. Okay, Carol. You be waiting. You be waiting, my friend. As much as you have helped me, Carol, Carol was so good about um, answering my questions when I first started. Oh, she was wonderful. You know, Julia, what I might do, because I know that you would, um, because of shipping, 
I may send all of yours and Janet to you and then let you delete or give it to Janet. Would you mind doing that, Julia? Oh, I found more piggy fabric, Julia. Is it really, Julia? That's interesting to know. Okay, Julia. Yes, Beth, we are still playing. The men are in the back working. Oh, wouldn't that be fun, Stephanie? I'm going through my stash, Beth. And all the pigs are going to England to visit Julia. Okay, any of you be able to use this fat, um, flannel is what this is. I'm reading. I'll help you, Jasper. See, look there. See what happens when you ask for help? People are willing to help. They really are. But yeah, I've had people tell me, just Google it. Now, I've had people tell me to Google it too, just because they don't know. So it wasn't that they were being ugly. They didn't know the answer. Oh, I get sidetracked. When I taught my son in third and fourth grade, I taught math and so him social studies. One year was social studies. The other was math. And he would tell me, Mom, Mom, and make me get back on the top. Yes, you're getting the dots, Jasper. Don't stress. I'm going to make some yo-yos out of this. I think that would be fun. Mm. I cannot Saturday. Because that's that big parade I was telling you all about. And I'll be in town. I hope I'm in town. Okay, thank you, Julia. Um... I just don't know what I'll be doing on Saturday. Sunday, I, and if I don't feel good, I will um, be home. I mean, I'm not guaranteed I'll get to go. 
Well, that's okay, Jens. I'm trying to give you lots of pink, Esther. And there's some tiny pieces in here, too. This is the bottom of my basket. Give her that since it's already cut out. Maybe Sam or Ben could videotape it. Oh, I don't want you to tell. That's right, Marty. You just done sub. That's right. No, we're not going to talk bad. We just done sub. Oh, from your bed, bless you. Well, don't ask me about being organized, honey. I can't help you there. I take that back. I can be organized. I can organize things. I can't figure out how to be more efficient. I understand, Esther. Yeah, having a table does help. I would like to see Angie's face. That was so much fun, Zena. Now, are these kind of trims you can use, Jen? Because if not, I'm putting them in my scrap bag. I mean, my thread basket. Hey, y'all, this was not organized or planned ahead. I, I didn't, I didn't plan any of this. I just started crafting and turned on the, um, I have more. Okay, Jen, do you want it? Okay. Jasper, do you want some of that? I have quite a bit, I think. I know I do in Florida. I'll do, I'm just going to send that to Jasper, whether she wants it or not. Okay. 
I have a lot, Carol. I took some, I took four placemats were falling apart that were like a woven rug. And those are some that keep falling out. So that's why I was just going to give them away. I'll, I'll send you some. No. Okay, Esther, just for a sale. I'm trying to think where the rest of all that is. See, this is my, didn't know what to do with it bag that I was going to throw away. Oh, it would. The thing is, the way I cut it, because it was falling apart that way, um, I... You don't want, nobody wants something like that, do they? I'm just glad somebody can use this. I was going to stuff a pillow with it. Oh, Esther, you have had quite a time. Ah, oh, you're too sweet, Barbara. That would. Carol, I just, I could listen to your advice all day. All day. Is Okay, is this what somebody was wanting this? Who was wanting this? Was that you, Julia? You like the stringy bits. What do you do with them? What do you do with the stringy bits, Julia? You don't want... No, you don't want these. Oh, you're welcome, all of you. Do you want these, Julia? Or these? Oh, you can't see. These or these? You use these for a journal cover? Okay. I'll start saving it for you. Oh. There's a little bit of yarn, but I'll send you some more yarn. Here you go. You just have at that, Julia. <laughs> well, here's my goods that I could pack all this stuff for Julie. <laughs> oh, that would be mean.
Thing and I have all this fringe. I can't wait to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I'll think of something. The wire ribbon. Yes, it does. Yes, it does, Julia. Oh, fun, Carol. You go, girl. Jasper, you go. And I think I'm going to shut down. When other people see this live, they're going to think we were crazy. I'm going to continue working on Esther stuff and um, give her some more goodies. And my battery's low. So I will close. And you all have a wonderful day. And remember, you have a purpose. Bye for now. Bye-bye.